Sarah. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do one of the tag videos. Um, sorry, my girls are playing in the background, but I wanted to do get one in today because we've got a lot of stuff going on this week. Um, I do have a update on another new start. Um, I have been working on Clouds Factory's Star Wars for our oldest daughter, Abby. She loves Star Wars Legos. So she picked out the fabric. Um, she told me she wanted a bright blue. It is a Silk Weaver Ada. So it's stitching up really fast and easy. Um, it was off of their Facebook sale page. So I'm thinking it was probably a solo. It probably doesn't have an official name on it. Um, but I've got Vader and Luke Dunn and doing Leia next. And um, The only issue with this color fabric. I'm having to change the chart a little bit because the lightsabers are green and there's a green one and then one a really bright electric blue. Um, it's the same blue as the button on Vader right there, of the French knot. Um, so I asked her if she's okay with there being instead of a blue lightsaber because it'd blend in well if there's a red one and she's fine with that because she's She's all about the dark side with Star Wars. <sighs> My five-year-old princess and her Star Wars and Angry Birds. And... Anyway, <laughs> kids are funny. Um, so that's all I've been working on the last few days. Um, I've done one a night. So I've done it, worked on it for like three nights now. Um, <clears throat> I think that is all I've been stitching on the last few days. So, um... Anyway, I wanted to do the tag. Um, and I got these off of um, Annie's, one of her videos I saw, um, her tag. So I kind of, I wrote down the questions that she was using. So um, I may not have gotten all of them because I can't remember if I got to watch the end of the video or not last night. But anyway, um, the first few questions were whimsicals tags. Um, where do you live? I live in Platte City. Um, it's five miles north of Kansas City, Missouri. Um, I grew up half an hour north of here in St. Joseph, Missouri, and my husband's from Kansas City. Um, so he works in south end of Kansas City, so he's got an hour commute. Um, but this works. This is a really good town. It's 5,500 people. It's small, but it's got a fantastic school system. It's right on the interstate. And a lot of, ta there's a ton of fast food restaurants um, at the exit at the interstate. They bring in a ton of tax money. Um, so it, they've got, sorry, um, fantastic schools up here. And we moved up here. Um, we bought our house in 2006 before we ever had kids. Um, because we knew we wanted the smaller town, um, the good schools. And my family's still 30 minutes north. So his family is 30 minutes south of us. So we're in a good meeting spot between the families. Um, but again, you know, I, I like the smaller town versus Kansas City. They don't have the best school districts. So anyway, um, <clears throat> where do you work? Hey, I, hey, baby. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I have been since in 2009. This is Elizabeth. <laughs> um, when Abby was born, or before Abby was born, um, we decided to wait to have kids until. Okay, thanks. Um, <laughs> go play. Until we knew that we could afford to not have to do daycare. Um, I was working at a bank before, and if any of you are bankers, you know you don't make money if you work at the bank. You just play with the money. Stop, please. So, I uh, would have put at least two-thirds of my income at that time into daycare. Okay, go away. Go play with Abby, please. Um, do you have children? Huh, no, no kids. What are you talking about? Um, yes, Abby's five and Elizabeth is three. Um, and we're done. Two's good. She's enough. Do you have pets? We have two cats. Um, Sybil is a ragdoll kitty. I think Annie said she has a ragdoll also. 
Um, so she may know they can be crazy, but they're very good with kids. Um, but we named her Sybil because <laughs> we got her. She was given to us from my husband's coworkers, and um, <laughs> because she cried too much, she just walks around the house and she'll just cry. And they just didn't want to deal with that. But um, we got her. We had two male cats at the time, and she tried killing them. I mean, literally. She was trying to kill them for a month. We had to... We need to go in the other room. Um, we had to lock her in our office craft room at that time for well over a month. So, I'm going to come back to this. Okay.